at six, being a mother to her son is what's most important to Allison Bellamy of Hampton, but drug and alcohol addictions pushed motherhood aside. Bellamy found herself in and out of legal trouble and at one point on the brink of death. Her story is part of the fentanyl crisis, stories of heartbreak and hope. You gotta be nice, okay? I missed out on so much, so I want him to have good things to remember. And just, he's a joy to be around. <laughs> he's just, he keeps me smiling. He can get on my nerves sometimes, test my patience, but he's supposed to. When you have someone this young, energetic, precocious, and innocent in your life, there's no room for addiction. This little boy, needs his mother. But for half of Brentley's short life, his mom, Allison Bellamy's legal trouble and incarceration kept him separated from her. You can have video visits from in the jail, so that's how I got to watch him grow up. That's how I got to see every milestone. Even before he was born, drug and alcohol addiction made her no stranger to law enforcement. Alcohol, drugs, heroin, cocaine. And when she met up with fentanyl, I overdosed and I died. Son's father, my boyfriend, um, he found me on the bedroom floor and he called 911. And when they got there, they had to Narcan me and um, it didn't work. So fortunately for me, because they were ready to pronounce me dead, but my oldest daughter's grandfather is the police chief of Pocosin, and he said no. Hit her again. She lived. I didn't shoot it that night, and I didn't do anything close to what I used to have done. I did something that tiny, and it took me out, and that was my first and only um, experience with fentanyl. We're looking at the place down the street to, because it actually has housing. Yeah, I mean, we can, we'll figure that piece out. For sure. You can say Jan Brown and her Spirits Work Foundation Center for the Soul helped save Bellamy's life. She has educated me. A big part of what we do is provide recovery support services so that whatever the outcome or whatever it is along the journey that somebody is having, we can be a supportive community for that family or for that mom or for that child. Primarily the women that we work with are in the jail um, and so working with them trying to help and that's where Bellamy met Brown as Bellamy was serving time for assault on a police officer. We had a lot of people that would come in and tell us what to do, but she just gracefully guided us. Like it was and educated us and empowered us to want and to do something different. That conceived a connection so strong, Bellamy is now employed by Spirit Works. And so we want to work with women and children and so that no other mother has to go through what I did. Come here. I'm gonna go get you an ice cream when we're done. How's that sound? You want some ice cream? And you can watch the entire special, The Fentanyl Crisis, Stories of Heartbreak and Hope on 13newsnow.com.